αν υπάρχει κάποια ερώτηση σε σχέση με τις παρουσιάσεις, τώρα μπορείτε να την κάνετε. Παρακαλώ. Yes, can I, uh, can I uh, ask a question? Is there a consent for the patient to give? For your presentation, yes? Yeah. So uh, is there a consent needed for the patient itself? Does the patient need, uh, has to, is it oblig 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 obligated to give a, a consent for a patient in order to exchange that, that information? How do you deal with that? Yeah. Uh, thank you for, for the question. Uh, we ask the, the citizen or the patient that before going through this uh, website, he has to log in through the My Health, like personal health record. So once you have the, this, your personal health record, you give the permission to uh, download, not un download the, the data but you have the last word as a patient to uh, sign up which uh, data do you want, do you feel comfortable to be in collect. For example, uh, you can decide that you only want to share the number of uh, kilometers that you run, for example, or the wave, but you don't want to share the number of I don't know, imagine that you're a diabetes and you don't want to share, maybe application ask you how many alcohol do you drink, for example, but if you don't feel comfortable sharing this data, you only have to sing uh, or mark that you want to share your kilometers and your weight, but not your alcohol for the, for example. And what about, what about the, Actually, the healthcare providers, they, can they access, can everyone access the patient data then? Is it something that uh, is happening with a therapeutic uh, relationship between the healthcare provider and the patient? Or is it something that the patient also can, can actually have, have impact in it and can choose which healthcare provider can access to the patient data? Yeah, uh, we are very conscious that unaware that uh, Managing data is a, a big uh, concern for the population and for us too. So we only uh, allow the, the providers to get access to the data that the doctor can, can get. So if you give information to your doctor about your weight or your number of uh, steps that you do, so this data is available, but only if it's before available in the uh, electronic health record. And is there an audit trail for, the, for those patients? So for example, I want to see as a patient who is actu uh, actually ac have access to my, uh, to my personal records. Do Th there is no access for other patients? No, I, I mean access for the doctors. As a patient, do I see who has access to my, to my files? Yeah. Can I see who have actually accessed uh, at which time, at which, uh, on which hour, um, just to get, have, have an overview about, of well, it? Well, uh, this information uh, is available for the patient. It's not in the platform uh, environment, so you don't, ha you don't have access every day the, the information about who is seeing or who is viewing your profile. But if you are concerned about this information, uh, we have a, a contact uh, email and cell phone uh, information or database that you can just uh, write and ask for who is the person who is viewing your profile and who has access to your information. Okay, it's a public uh, service. Thank you. Uh, also, we take the two questions from the panel for uh, Mr. Javier Quiles. Do you find that you can get active participation from older people in your area in using the technology and in associations? And the second one to respond to the two ones. What is the take up and involvement of your patients over 65? Well, it's a, it's a very good question.
and I don't have the exact figures, so next time I will bring it. It's a very good point from your side. Uh, sorry, yes. Uh, I don't have these figures, and we, of course, we have to segment them. One of the questions we want to solve with a new project is having what we call a patient relationship manager. We want, we now have a very raw information of who is using what in our system from the patient side. Our system are not really steady to detect the, um, all the interactions. For example, if you enter in our portal, we see that the patient is logging, he has used the uh, there's a high security model, and he has been in a session for X, min X minutes, a number of minutes. But we don't see exactly which documents he has accessed. Well, we have a backlog, but we don't have a meaningful way to explode all this information. So we have a log, uh, of course, all audit trail is available, and we know who is accessing what. If you are looking to the detail, but no, we don't have a global analysis system that really brings out the profile of the user. That's one of the key points we want to address in the new project. And well, as a preliminary result, we are uh, getting all people engaged, but uh, there's a feature which is very important also in our platform, which is the role of the carer. So we have a profile for the carer. And that's very important in the patient portal and also in the telemonitoring system. Both systems allow one person uh, to be associated to the patient and access to the system in the name of the patient. This must be authorized. There's a protocol. It must be signed by the patient and the, and the carer. So when this is registered, the carer access the platform and then introduces the information and helps the patient. So. That's the main way to bring the old people engaged. We need to make a really better analysis, and so sorry for that. I, it's, a, it's a duty that they take home. And okay. You back with the data. We thank you very much for uh, your presence here. You are free now to cross your plane. <laughs> and uh, thank you again. Θα ήθελα στη συνέχεια να καλέσω στο πόντιο τον κύριο Ιγνάτιο Κατεζίδη.